Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Baldur's Gate 3. Today, Karlak has something to say. Which is understandable given what went through last time. Oh, that's right, Jahir is a, a big old owl bear still. Uh, let's go ahead and take that back. Not that I expected to have anything to say. You have one short rest, which we'll probably use. Um, yeah, Karlak, what's up, girl? Word would be nice. Hey, soldier, you're back. Uh, still soldier after everything we've been through, huh? Uh, I've been worried about you. Are you all right? Yeah, despite my best efforts. I kept trying to flop over and give up, but Karlak just won't let me. Ah, oh, rude, right? Anything important? Not really, but I missed you. I missed you, too. You know, I wouldn't have bothered falling in love with you if I'd known saying goodbye would be so hard. Ah, it always is. Uh, you wouldn't have a choice. I pursue you to the end of the Farron. Uh, who say who's saying goodbye? I'm here. I know what you mean. I'm scared of leaving you behind. Uh, which one's more romantic? Saying that she didn't have a choice, which is kind of creepy, or saying that who's saying goodbye? I mean, I would have pursued you to the interference. Probably a little bit more romantic than WoW making it out to be. Uh, yeah, who's saying goodbye? You certainly are. I'm trying to stay here, now, alive while I can. But it's like my mind is whittled down to the black hole that should have been our future. Uh... I'll think of you whenever I burn my hand on a hot stove. How about we still have a future, maybe shorter one, but it still doesn't make it less beautiful. Wow. God, you're so right. And we are beautiful, aren't we? Oh, absolutely. This is... It's everything. Ugh, I'm sorry. I don't want you to be sad. I mean, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't given up. Maybe. But I think... I think the gods are trying to show me my fate. And I think I'm ready to look at it. Speaking of which... There's something I wanted to ask you. Okay. Will you stay with me? When it's time... For me to go. I think I can do anything if you're there. Even die. Um. I mean, yeah, of course, but we're still gonna cure you. Ah. Uh, uh, I hope we fucking cure you or something. Like Jesus, that would be very just sad and very unfortunate. I get, I get. Not everyone gets a happy ending, but still. I mean, how about this? I'll save you when you die of old age in a nursing home somewhere. Thank you. Now, enough tragedy. I'm not gone yet, and our schedule is packed with important heroics, isn't it? Plus, if I cry anymore, I'm going to run out of tears and start leaking motor oil. That would be impressive, and probably way more I painful. I love you. A lot. All right, so today's agenda is to save Lazelle now. We have to go after Orin. Minx? Oh. Yeah, here, I guess. That's new, I think. You've done well, underling. Baldur's Gate's gag is grotesque all. Your little pet still has eyes to witness it. Now to do proper honor to the murderer, you must submit yourself to the trial tribunal. Okay, so see there, and you may find me in Ball's Temple, deep below the tyrant's rotted gobbles. Okay, so we have to find the murder tribunal. I think we have a quest for that. You'll keep my minions safe. Until then, unless... I'm... Okay, so she's still alive. Right? Because I kind of thought she was not alive. Uh, We did have... Did we not have something for... Ah, yeah, okay. 
Right. So we have a warp point for that. Uh, here? Now, we also have, like, two parts of <clears throat> Mr. Carrying that we gotta find. Well, we gotta find his zombie first. I'm pretty sure they'll probably lead us in the right direction. We're still gonna kill the zombie, or at least put it back to rest. But at the same time, we already have his brain and what? The other thing. Not his heart. If we had his heart, he'd be killable, but he's not right now. Uh, it's like brain and liver or something like that, or spleen. I mean, yeah, a little bit. Help me help you. Reciprocation. Watchers ignore you. Foundry. Neutralized. Yeah. Witnesses eliminated. You walk free. Yeah, I know. One. I'm gonna! You don't have to yell! Weirdo? Um... I guess short rest? You know, we're good for right now, right? Yeah, we're good for right now. So, ancient si no, uh... Here? Let's see what this does. The vessel returns. Most shamefully unleaking. Prove your faith. Uh, I have proven my face for funeral. I am the unholy assassin of Baal. You lie. You are not faithful. The door stays closed. I got hands. The vessel returns. Most I gotta prove myself. Must bear proof of the Dreadlord's favor, or pay his toll of blood. Uh, yeah. You lie. Is this not the door I need to hold hands with, or like what's going on? There was a door here that was like, hey, show them hands, and I thought it was here. Is it not here? Uh, okay, well, shit. Let's come uh, here, here, here. There was something up above. Oh, it's the gym people. Uh, so that's uh, okay. That's not what I wanted. Like there was something in the cemetery we needed to do, which. I thought we bypassed because we found that door earlier. Is this the cemetery? No. Okay. Well, I mean, there's blood. Oh, that's that other place. Yeah, that's where that other blood was. Where is here? Sure. Oh shit, whatever happened to that Dumbo guy? <laughs> oh lady. Uh we were I, I think it's part of this quest, isn't it? Up here. Yeah, up here. Then here. There was something in the graveyard we were supposed to find, which I thought we bypassed by finding that door. The zombie dude, or one of them anyway, is here. I don't... Morbus, I don't think it's the same dude, right? Anita... Uh... This apparently wouldn't be illegal to do. Legitimately surprised that it's not illegal or red. So that's interesting. So those ball guys said that we broke the contract, right? Oh, this is new. Um, 
Yeah, they said we broke the contract, so I kind of thought Lozelle was probably dead. Brave and loyal Rocky, who saved his master from an ambush. Oh no, is this a dog? Oh, wait, no. I didn't undo my hill giant, uh, claw giant strength, did I? Better not have. Very upset. I mean, you're not wrong. I really should have seen this coming. Rocky, I'm sorry, man. I didn't... I don't want to kill you again. You're already dead, so technically he's not killing. Wait, are they all dogs? Who let the dogs out? Apparently me! No, wait, we don't have swords. Why can't I hit you? Weird. I mean, there's no reason not to do this, right? Because clearly I'm just gonna get an extra turn anyways. Why can't I just go and attack? Weep if you wish. Minsk will not judge. Fuck, where is my returning pike? Steel spell or sweaty embrace. Uh, uh reckless? Yeah. Alright. My hackles are raised. Her hackles are indeed raised. Uh yeah, just I don't know, man. Fireball. So like seriously, where is my returning pike? Houndmaster Paul. What are you doing over there, man? That's sad. All right. Come at me, dude. Okay, you did not come at me. Well, now you're coming at me? Sure. Not enough? I don't believe you. Because that definitely looks like it's punching distance. Yeah, thank you. I better not have lost my returning pike. I'll be very upset about that. Alright! Well, we totally fucking killed some ghosts. And unfortunately put down the dogs again. Queen of Ravens. Uh, in that time of shadow allegiances between elven gods and... Oh, this is lore? I like lore. That's why I closed it. <laughs> Whole. Not a chance I'll fit in there. there is always a chance. So I don't want to steal the dog's no, stuff. Please. I'm going to, though. Not in there. I'm not going to steal the bodies. Because I know they're good boys and everything like that, but... <sighs> yeah, I just, I don't know. I feel a lot... Oh. Uh, try again, please. Did I need to use an inspiration for that, or could I have just done that again? Let's try it. Because I'm assuming there's nothing in here, and we just rolled one short again. Oh, we can't use it right now. Ah, but Minx should be able to, be, to use it again, right? Assuming that's the Houndmaster. So this is not where we need to be. Yo! Oh! Also adorable! Enough time has passed? No. Minx! You, met my you big, strong, manly man! Guidance! Yeah, oh, double 14s, baby. They should just add those two together and give me 28. Oh, potion of speed. Nice. 20 balls. Good. 22 balls, actually. Jesus. What 
to do. Swift as Rusted spear. Oh yeah, right. Uh, camp real fast. Does Carlax still have the returning pike? If she doesn't, we're in trouble. She does. Okay, good. Give that the minx. Another day, another Thank you. All right, great. While the trident is better, uh, it does have an AOE blast that can be a problem sometimes. What does this say to you? Chief Houndmaster Paul, who trained our pack to perfection. They are all good boys. Um, more guidance. There you go. Speaking of good boys, Kovu used the litter box today. He's actually only been pooping and peeing outside. So I didn't know if he actually could. <laughs> Man. Aw, oh, your dog collars. Uh, open? Why are you a skeleton, but they're not? Oh man, that, that shit like that makes me wish I could actually be a proper necromancer or a lich, so I could revive these dogs, and have them level up. Maybe one day. Probably not this game, but one day, someday. Everything. Let's see. Bear. A young cave bear. That's a young cave bear. What are you talking about? What? Dog, I don't think that's a young cave bear. That thing is gigantic, unless I'm misremembering what cave bears are supposed to be. Here lies the houndmaster of the Durin Bolds, surrounded by his loyal pack, good boys and girls all. Yeah, honestly, I didn't think Hove knew how to use the litter box after all this time, but man. He finally did it. I mean, I'm not exactly happy to be cleaning out another litter box, but at the same time, glad he didn't poop on the floor. Anyone wants to see this? If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. Everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. I mean, I guess that's true. Ooh, have we been here before? Or... Lungs! What is that? There's something blue in there. Alright, so we found Mr. Carrion's uh, lungs. So that means we have three of his shit. Oh, stall main, still main. Uh, blood loss, 36 stab wounds. That is impressive. I just wondered. Not the most stab wounds I've ever heard, unfortunately, but still impressive. Black and Azure die. Like the sound of that, please. Time to press ahead. There's one. Azure Dream? Great game. No, don't pick those up. Yeah, Azure Dream? Amazing game. If you've never played, you should do it. Why? Because I think you should. Is it easy to play, though? <sighs> if you have a PlayStation 3, yes. If you don't have a PlayStation 3 but a working computer, yes. Any other way? Mm, it might be on the Vita. Yeah, it might be on the Vita. Hmm. I know they had a Game Boy version, but that was a little different. There was no romance in that one. You can say there's no romance in the PlayStation one too. That's very kind of true. It does actually, it's actually the first like fucking harem game I've ever played. Before, like, you know, Trails of Cold Steel and Persona. Um, my step. Yeah, I, I didn't even realize it until I went back after so many years. Like, oh, right. You actually end up dating, like, five, six, uh, let's see. One, two, three. 
four, five, six. Six girls. You have been six girls uh, by the end of the fucking game. And as young me, I didn't even pay attention to that. I was just like, oh, cool. That's kind of weird that they, like, three of them now kind of live at my house and kiss me when I leave. But, hey, that's cool. Whatever. And the mom in the game is like, really? <laughs> really? Another one? <laughs> oh, man. Ah, it's a great game. There's really not much to it. It's just a dungeon crawl. It's like a roguelike dungeon crawler. Uh, it's a it's a monster tamer game too. The yeah, every time you enter the dungeon, you reset the level one, except for your monsters. Your monsters are always uh, get to keep their level unless they hit a level down stat or a trap. Excuse me. You get to keep your weapons and weapon bonuses though too. You, although let's be honest here, you want either a gold sword or a wooden sword or a training uh, staff because rust traps don't affect those. You also want like a I think it's a a diamond shield or a wooden shield too so they don't so they don't rust that way you get to keep the perception Ooh, okay is this the myrtle wait no that's where we just came in sorry please Honestly, if you get lucky in Azure Dreams, you could complete the main story relatively fast. Step carefully. There's a trap. That's a pressure plate, right? Mm, that should still be good. If I should, it is. Because math. I'm actually kind of surprised they never made uh, Azure Dreams 2. I know they had... I know they had one on Game Boy uh, that was different. Actually, had the dungeon was like... I think the original dungeon only went up to like 50 floors or something like that, but the Game Boy one went to 99, and I think it had a basement as well. So, fuck you, trap! Oh, I don't need this anymore, but thank you. This place is very trapped. So I'm expecting something amazing. What? I don't know. Ultimate weapon? Uh, gauntlets of super improved unarmed striking that sets my strength and dexterity to... Uh, I don't know, whatever the highest one, <laughs> whatever the highest number is possible in this game. I, I, I know in Wrath of the, the Righteous, you could get stupid stat, like, percentage, not percentages, but like stat amounts. From like all the buffs and the potions and just the, uh, like the belts of plus eight or nine strength. Give me a belt of plus nine strength, please. That adds on to my potion. Okay, golden key. Shield plus one. Skelebro, open. Okay, the legacy of Hoon. Kneel with the weight of all you value at your feet and he will reveal himself. Okay. Oh, oh, I don't know what you want me to trap. do there. Cautious. You're still saying there's a trap there and there's not, which is uh, interesting. That looks like a wall that I can break. That actually definitely looks like a wall I can break. A crumbling wall. I can break that wall. We are. Eat. Oh. Oh. Which one's this? 
Uh, I don't think that's the one I want. But then again, they're both not what I want. So, Neil. Neil here? How do I kneel? Any other walls I can break? I'm gonna disarm this gargoyle ahead. I mean, I can put all my money down. I don't want to do that. <laughs> it's a lot of money. It's 26,000 gold pieces. It's, it's quite a, yeah, it's quite the amount of money. Let's come in here first, I guess. Did we not find... Plea for freedom. Oh, great. The city deserves better than, than regard Hash and his army of steel. This, let the city win, not him. Okay. Here lies Lord Gregorian Gorion, first High Constable of Baldur's Gate. The city's protector. Cool. All. There are little things in place, but one or two have general merit or something more than religious struggle. Sure. Okay, let's steal this guy's shit, I guess. Have that. Okay, you got elixir of heroism. Okay. And a ring. Well, you can keep the ring. Plea of the gods. To the gods, not of the gods. That would be a little weird. You're not wrong. My bones ache. Wounds long scarred, throb as of new. Oh, fucking relatable, dude. Like, fuck, man. My knee has been killing me lately. I think it's the cold weather. And my back and my neck. I, I'm not about to break into that song. But, no, my bag and neck have been killing me as well. Uh, I long for the comfort of my pipe. Well, I don't smoke. And the warmth of the fire. That would be nice, but I cannot stop. Gods, old and new, hear me. Grant me the strength to keep fighting. The courage to carve out a future for my children. And when I die, the peace that comes at knowing I did all I could. Uh, okay. Great. Is this not... Where I need to find the murder tribunal. Take that as a fucking no. There was a place that's like, oh, you got hands? I'm like, yeah, I got hands, but I'm not going to do that right now. And then I left. Should I have not a left? I didn't want to get her killed. We learned the passphrase of the Candle Hollow's tombstone. Show. There. Oh my fucking god. I was just looking on- Ugh. I'm not mad, just very disappointed in you. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe you're just blind, Cronus. I could be just fucking blind. I'm kind of mad still, actually. I was checking the fucking maps, and they were... He didn't check hard enough, Kronos. So remember, it's your fucking fault, always. Stop I know. Wasting my time. Hello? Oh, you're a dragonborn. I thought you were like a fucking Muppet. Uh... Oh, door. I kind of wish we could have gotten uh, control of the steel watch. Maybe that was another out outcome we could have done. Hello. Housekeeping. And by housekeeping, I mean potential murderers coming through. Animal carcass. Alrighty then. Gilded chess. 
Can we stop with the perception fails, please? Fuck. That's probably not good, huh? That's clearly a door. Hopefully it, it works when I go in there. Keeping up appearances, read. Uh, Clerk Dravaged. Uh, remember you are in the business of making candle hollow, hollow tombstone look like genuine retail establishments. Keep all the prices about half again too high so you don't sell very much inventory. Think of the shop as a stage set rather than an actual going concern. The management. I mean, honestly, try to make as much money as possible, man. That way, when I come a seeking, like the seekers, if you seek the tribunal, let death be your guide for what is behind death but murder. Uh, I don't know. Resurrection? I'm gonna put a hand in this? I can put a hand in this. Was the other thing not like a place? Where did I keep all the hands? I have two hands, right? No? Um. Scratch, you see anything? I heard summoning Scratch will make his perception check sometimes. Shit. Hey, cast guidance on Scratch. Alright, now Scratch. Perception check. Alright, Scratch. Good boy. God damn it. Still breathing, despite everything. So, what do I. This is clearly a door. I have it marked on my thing. Yeah, I see it. I see the fucking door. Let me in the door. What if I rest and then... I don't want a long rest. Am I gonna sw have to swap out some people in my goddamn party so they can make a perception check? Wait, really? Oh, Alright, fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna undo that quick rest though. Alright, so I brought a Starry into the party. He actually needs to level up, so let's go ahead and do that. He only needs one level, and that should help his perception. I believe his perception is at level... Well, it is at level 11 right now. So hopefully this gives him a bit of a boost to that. What should I give you, though? Toughness? Um, you're just a straight-up rogue. You don't really have anything else going on for you right now. Um, I guess, I guess toughness works. Athletic, no, okay, you know, fine, that's toughness, or tough, excuse me. So your hit points is increased by two per every level you have gained. So you're gonna get 24 extra uh, health. That's pretty good. Uh, as for your stats, did you gain? No, okay, well. Uh, let's put guidance on you. And, oh wait, shit. No, okay, I thought you had some, I thought you had heavy armor. That's stealth check though. So, uh, yeah. Alright, well, let's go ahead and do this, I guess. I am more comfortable in streets like this. Success? The Over there? Yes, another thing we have in common. We're two peas in a pod. Huh? 
I said the peak behind the city's mask, Astarian. Not they look up its skirts. Skirts? Jahira! What do you think of me? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> right. Uh... Oh, the button! Okay, Astarian, I'm gonna have to remove you from the party. <laughs> Thank you, though. You'll come back when we, we get a deal with Cazador. Alrighty, we are good to go. The locked door has red text on it, reading, All are waited, all are embraced. None shall escape. Unless I punch them. Um, this. I should have probably done the history check or investigate. God damn it. I did just save, but still. That's the door. Okay, so we can't fast travel from here. It means we can't rest. That was an auto save. That wasn't me. Archment. No, don't go down there, please. Thank you. Flaming fists this way. Interesting. Why would the flaming fist be this way? There is an elegant chest down here. Trap. Fuck. Trap. Everyone good? Take that as a no. Everyone's still good, though. No one's on fire, burning. We could create water, but we don't need to. That's what happens when you're greedy, Kronos. You're not wrong. <laughs> so what do they think? The Flaming Fists are going to be stupid enough to fall for that trap? You were... I went and fall for the trap. I saw the treasure, and I was like, ooh, treasure. That's a completely different kind of stupid, all right? That which watches, that which guards. All right, cool. Oh, there's three there. Present me well from gifts thine own. Or I shall rend thy flesh from bone. Uh, I've killed to be here. I took the victim's hands. A grasping hand. An offering vile. Enter now the Dreadlord's trial. Are you on fire? You're a death knight? You're not on fire. When a fallen paladin dies without atonement, it can be brought back from the grave to something entirely different, entirely evil. You're not wrong. Dude. That's cool. Oh, I want to kill and revive a paladin so I have my own death knight. Ah. Nice chairs. Uh-huh. Ooh, treasure. I guess we could have went down that way, maybe? I don't know. Oh, hey! That's very familiar. Oh, what? You gaze upon murder's progeny, child. His most ill-trusted zealots. His faithful departed. Prodigal servants, each returns to do his bidding eternally. This man is known to all Baldurians, and his presence sparks dread in the pit of your stomach. Before you is Saravok Anchev, a bar list who almost brought Baldur's Gate to ruin a century ago. Yeah, I actually talked about him quite a bit in this game. Not just an imitator, but Saravok himself. This is the court of the Dread Lord's Tribunal. I am its custodian. Here, 
come those who seek to transcend. Aspirants of his most profane order. The would-be unholy assassins of Baal. But these are not aspirants. You have brought traitors of Baal into our midst. Harper Worm, the abdicating hero. Your keen sense for this city has withered in your absence. Maybe I shouldn't have brought you here and Minx then. Man of stone. As you stood a statue, a helpless ornament, your city warped, changed, became ripe for the plucking. Saravok, Baal's least favorite son. <laughs> Still tied to daddy's apron strings, I see. The history they share may be long gone, but the threat of violence between them is as fresh as newly spilled blood. Neither party will let the other walk out of here alive. Fair enough. What purpose do you have in bringing these heretics to the court of Baal? Speak. Or death will be your final word. Uh, uh, I'm not here to dig up old feuds and seek the Temple of Baal. Do not parlay with this man. Oh, you hear? I need to know where the Serevok once had his chance to taste of goodness, but he spat it back out. Is that the cannon? Now he may taste boot leather okay. instead. I'm kind. Speak yeah. The past. I speak of the future. Well, aspirant, do the shades of yesterday speak for you too? Dog, if they want there you dead, you're dead. To the temple of Baal, to carve your devotion into flesh, or to be the carcass that is carved upon. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, so. This, the narrator was pretty clear about them not leaving alive one or the other. Ah, I don't know. <laughs> I like seeing older characters, but at the same time, like, they already had their ending. So it's kind of like bittersweet. Because, like, like, I think we mentioned before, one of the endings for Zaravok is that he redeemed himself from Ball's influence. And he pretty much died, like... He died protecting a place or someone that he cared about, eventually. The other one, that I guess this would be this one, where he went into complete servitude to Ball, even after death. Um... So, okay, is there a history? The narrator. The history is shared is long gone. Third divines between. Neither party will let the other walk out of here alive. Okay, so that's pretty much I have to side with either Saravok or Minx and Jahir, right? That's what that kind of says to me, and I'm definitely siding with Minx and Jahir. Even if I was playing relatively evil here, uh... Ball's not that great, even for, like, an evil god. <laughs> so, even if you are somewhat of an evil person, you don't really want to be hooked into his shit. So, I guess we'll find another way. Would you two like to kill the old man, or shall I? Mm. You get to my age. You have already done everything. Be my guest. We have already smashed Seravak's soul from his body once. Boo says it is your turn. And so, the Harper and the idiot Ranger raised their weapons against Saravok once more. You know, I didn't think I'd be fighting Saravok today, to be quite honest. Doing as it was once mine. Only this time, you will fall. And Baal will have his offering by my hand. Oh shit, Lazelle. Fuck! Ooh, music. Life comes easy these days.
Hello. Legendary resistance. Actually, let me check you out real fast. Level 16? That's bullshit! I want to be level 16! Uh, affected entity has a plus 10 bonus to the next saving throw in the next three turns. Oof. Ooh. Oh, that's really good. Alright. Ooh, good crit! Yeah, so we're out of that. We can't do anything there. Uh, you do this. Can't go that way. Well, how about this? Well, actually... Can we tell? No, we can't. Sure, you come here. Okay, that's unfortunate. Uh, Minx, I need you to throw... That Saravok. Fuck. Maybe we should go after one of these guys, right? We'll probably kill one of these guys, yeah. Yeah! Actually, one second. Why does your name sound familiar? Oh! Okay, don't kill her! Holy fuck! Don't kill her! Yeah, absolutely don't kill her! Jesus Christ! <laughs> that is like... The worst possible fucking outcome there! Jesus, six points? Oh, we'll have to do that next turn. Ow. Oh! Oh, wait, no, don't go down there. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, shit, you bitch! My sanctuary! Oh, that's bullshit. Alright, well, we gotta, like, get rid of that sanctuary. How did you miss? Huh. Oh, bullshit. Alright, so you have Sanctuary? That's unfortunate. Uh, I guess I gotta fucking kill you. Cutting to the chase. Come on! You still have Sanctuary? Okay, no you don't. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, uh, I know we're right next to him, but he can't live. All oh, right. Oh, I can't. Uh, why? That's weird. Uh, 
let's see. This is bonus there. Ooh! Oh, I thought he was down. We need a crit. Never mind. Nice critical miss. Stop attacking, you dick! Deathbringer's legacy. Oh, that's a good one. Huh, interesting. That was weird. You... You... What? You activated duel, and then you cancel that duel. That's very weird. Shit. Whatever. Okay. But to keep going. Yeah. So you're dead now. Finish you off with a pommel. So they're gone. Blood follows me everywhere. Now you're gone too. And revive him so we can kill this one over here. No, we'll use this. All right, that wasn't too bad. Good thing I examined her. <laughs> I was, yeah, no, that could have been really poorly because I was going to kill her and them first after I noticed them doing stuff. We had to kill that sanctuary one first, though. All right, you better have some good shit on you. Ooh, Sword of Chaos. On a hit, regain one to six. Oh, it's kind of like Leech. That's pretty dope. Uh, Saravox Horned Helm. Deathbringer Sight. You gain Dark Finger up to a range of 10 feet or 50 feet if you already have it. Nice. Uh, the number you need to roll critical while attacking is reduced by one. Nice. Dauntless. You can't be frightened and cannot be afflicted by other uh, emotional altering conditions. That's uh, it's medium armor. That's interesting. I'll take it, though. First blood on hit, inflicting bleeding upon a target uh, that has maximum HP. Wait, what? First blood on a hit, inflicting inflict bleeding upon a target that has maximum HP. Okay. Apparently, we needed that map. Okay, one second. One second. One second. One second. So we needed this for something, and this shows us the way. Use a round street hatch to enter the sewers. Proceed northwest. Uh, bud. Led the skull to pass the door. All the trail. Okay. Interesting. It's a good sword. It's a, oh, it's a two handed sword. Uh, I don't. Know anyone that uses two handed? Hell yeah, I don't have anyone in the party that uses two handed swords. Uh, that All right, so yeah, you can transform back. Oh, the the blood ladies didn't leave bodies. Really? Well, that's a shame. Yo, potion of supreme healing. Mason's journal. Never in all my years of my craft have I felt like I was carving my own tomb. This armored husk I once thought a man. He has trapped me here during the renovations while he says I'm free to leave after the work is done. Elmadra, this god's awful smell. I'm, I'm no fool. I'm gonna sit in the chair. Can I take this chair and leave it at camp? Oh. Ah, very nice. Minx, you're too close. Jahir, do you want to sit in the chair? Yes, you need something. Good job, Jahira. Just a little further. 
No time to rest. Light on my um. Feet. Ooh, keyhole. Ah, all right. What about you guys? Do you guys? Yo, what the fuck? Interesting. That was weird. Uh, Blackguard's Grieve. Stride his movement, you gain uh, Long Strider. Athletic. Nice. Blackguard's Sword. Dazing Smite. On a hit infused with one of your smites, the target must succeed a constitution saving throw and become dazed. Cool. Send to camp. Blackguard's Plate. Magical Plate. All income damage reduced by one. Uh, advantage on wisdom saving throws checks. This advantage on stealth. Cool. Send to camp. Uh, Shield of the Undevout. Dreadful Hewer. Your foe has this advantage on saving throws against your spells or action that inflicts uh, fear. Additional spell slot, you gain one level one spell slot and uh, Shield Bash. And set a camp. Okay. Saving throws and attack plus one. Nice. Okay. Those are all pretty good. I do. I really do need a paladin in my party of some kind. Because now we have some pretty cool stuff. But yeah, all right, cool. We, uh. We killed Saravok again. First time in like 20 years, I feel like, maybe. Anyways, that is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I will, uh, see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye.